The story began when Gammon Yoon, age 15, was at his school. Gammon is horrible at reading. He sometimes acts like it does not bother him and doesn't think about it. But he is lying. He wanted to be good at studying. He tried many ways to get better. But his grades did not improve. He thinks it is because no one can help him at home, when he went home and saw his mom with a girl. Hank Young Lee, age 23, will be his new tutor. The tutor was introduced by his mom, who asked him to cooperate. It's already 6 o'clock. Gamin and his tutor are currently teaching how to solve linear inequalities. After two years, Gammon's scores improved because of his competent tutor and her friendly way of teaching. But the only problem he is currently facing is he is currently studying at the worst vocational high school, and he is still bad at studying. His school is the Yusong Vocational Engineering High and was known as the School of Criminals. He is trying to study even though it is hard, but he wants to find that one person with the will to study in a school like theirs. His motto is to hell with circumstances, I create opportunities. He came to this school of his own free will. He finds it advantageous to study and raise his scores in a school full of gangsters. His plan is to successfully enter the university and be a real winner. Since their former homeroom advisor, Mr. Hyunjun Yu, who quit, was replaced by Ms. Hank Yang Lee, his tutor from two years ago, will now be their homeroom teacher. Gemin reminisced about his time with the tutor, the one who believed in him despite his poor performance. Hank Young asked him what his dream was. He simply answered that he wanted to enter a university. His tutor, Ms. Hank Young Lee, wants to earn a teaching certificate and teach abroad. But the students inside the classroom were not listening. The man who introduced Ms. Lee to the class left. It only means one thing. She failed the certification test because she now works in a private school. She started telling her rules, but a bottle went straight up to her face when she was about to tell it. It was thrown by a gang member, Kyun Woo, who told her they didn't have time for her rules. The action spurred a fight that broke one of the classroom windows. Ms. Hank Young Lee could not do anything as she was so shocked. While they were fighting, another teacher went in their direction to stop their fight. Due to shock, Ms. Hank Young could not move and was asked by the teacher why is she just staying quiet and just watching and added that temporary teachers like her do not have a sense of responsibility. Ms. Hank Young left speechless and just cleaned the area. She curved herself while cleaning the broken window. She could not help but cry. But Gammon offered a bandage for her wound. She was shocked because she did not think they would meet again like that. Gammon asked her if she would continue teaching at the school. But his optimistic mindset did not give up. She is very positive that those students can be on the right path if they will face the issue together. As the gang approaches, Gammon explains that Hyun Woo's gang is made of the most brutal thugs in their school and is not the type of person who listens to anyone. But he did not even finish his sentence when Ms. Hank Young went in front of them and told them not to smoke. Kem Woo obeyed her but then slapped her. Hyun Woo's gang was about to bully her, but Gammon realized how it would be advantageous for him to have Ms. Hank Young if he was studying in that school. He interfered when one of the gang members was about to attack her. He fought with Hyun Woo's gang. The thing that he has not mentioned before that his motto, to hell with circumstances, I create opportunities, are not his own words. It was from a good book that he was reading by Bruce Lee. It was a book about self-defense and kung fu. He knocked out the other member of Hyun Woo's gang and even Hyun Woo. The book taught him and inspired him to know more and practice kung fu. He wanted Ms. Hank Yim to not quit her current job as a temporary teacher because he is still bad at studying. From another point of view, the other gangs who know Hyun Woo are now preparing to revenge on him. Min went early to exercise. He was doing different exercises for his body. The guard watching him daily was still amazed at his body and how he could do those exercises. After knowing it had already been 34 minutes, he immediately went home since he sneaked out from his mother to exercise. The moment he went to bed was the exact time he was woken up by his mother to prepare for his school. On the other hand, Ms. Hank Young only slept for three hours. She comforted and cheered herself and kept being optimistic about her student's future. As she went to school, she could not help but be nervous after what happened yesterday. Gammon entered the classroom with the mindset that he had to find someone who wanted to enter a university like him. As he finds the person who has the aura of someone who wants to enter the university, he finds Si and Kim to be able to enter a good university. He tried to approach him and ask if he could teach him some math, but he realized that maybe he was giving off a won't enter university vibe too. But he didn't give up. From Siyun's point of view, he sees Gem Min as someone who will bring him down as a target of gangs. But due to his mistakenly assuming that the person in the bathroom with him was Gam Min, it was Zhao Wang Chu from the Hydraulic Engineering Department. Zhao Wang commanded him to follow him. In the teacher's office, Ms. Hank Young was scolded because of yesterday's fight. After being scolded, she left thinking that even though she reported that the children were smoking, they did not do anything about it and just ignored it. Even though they cannot do anything, they will ignore the children's bad habits. As she was passing by, she saw Zhao Wang torturing Sien. She hid and tried to watch what Zhao Wang was currently doing to Sien. 
She remembered Seiyun as one of her students and tried to interfere, but she failed to do so as she lost her balance and ended up sitting on the ground. She tried not to think about what happened to her yesterday when Yemen held her hand and helped her stand up. And the only thing he can think of right now is that he cannot let Seiyun change schools because it will be hard for him, and he wants him to be a part of his study group. After hearing those words, Ms. Hankyoung was shocked that Gammon did not have his study group. Back when Gammon was a child, he often heard his mom's friend trying to make him have his study group after his son raised 30 points from his midterm exam. Her mom's friend explained that it is some sort of self-motivation by teaching each other and encouraged Gammon's mom to let him try it. But since Gammon was a shy boy, his mom thought it would be better for him to study privately. The truth is, the young Gammon tried to join a study group, but his classmates rejected him because of his previous grade. After that, Gammon tried to join some of his classmates' study groups, but they did not want him to join because he was considered the school's dumbest student. Because of it, he realized that the more he was rejected, the more he wanted to join a study group. After recalling the trauma he endured in his childhood, Gammon was about to go in Sihian and Zhao Wang's direction, but Ms. Hankyoung stopped him. For Ms. Hankyoung told him it is normal for students to fight in school, but school is supposed to be a place to study and violence will never be the answer. Gamin agreed that picking up a fight inside a school was wrong, so he thought an idea. As Zhao Wang was about to attack Siyan, Gamin made smoke envelop the place and Zhao Wang noticed the fire extinguisher. Gamin snatched Siyan away from Zhao Wang's sight and left the establishment through the back door using a mask used by welders to cover his face. Ms. Hankyoung did not expect what Gamin did. Siyan started to ask Gamin why he did that and asked if he knew the identity of the person who tortured him at Aka Zhao Wang. They called the Yusong Vocational High School, also known as the Four White Lead, because of the brutality of the White Lead Inchen Gang's executive children. But Gaiman did not care because they were just a bunch of students who didn't want to study. He asked Siyun to join his group study, but Siyun rejected the idea, because one of the things that he hates right now is to be the target of those gangs. But even though Gaiman has interfered, he will still be their target. He mentioned that his safety is the only thing more important than study. But as Si Yin was about to leave, Zhao Wang found him by his phone tracks left when he tried to escape. After seeing him, Zhao Wang kept asking about the person who helped him escape, but Si Yin acted like he did not know him. Yemen knew that Si Yin was trying to protect him by covering up but was secretly hurt when Si Yin didn't consider him a friend. Zhao Wang threatened him, but Gammon did not let that happen. He kicked Zhao Wang's face, which made him lose control. Si Yin was shocked and could not believe that the person who kicked Zhao Wang in the face was Gammon. After that, Gammon promised Siyun to help him study without dealing with violence that could interrupt his academics. With that, Siyun was given hope and opportunity. Comment below if you want to see the next part. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.